guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel, and today I have a special guest with me. Hi. Introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Robert. I'm her brother. Y'all will have last seen him in my guest NaNoWriMo phrases video. And actually, we did that the year before too, but I don't think you've been in any other videos. No. Okay. Not at all. So, super excited. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, Robert, can you explain in your own words what you think we're doing? Aren't you making me guess the storyline of the book based off the titles? Pretty much. <laughs> Nailed it. So this is a concept I've seen over on booktube. I'm just bringing it over to authortube because I thought it would be fun. And the twist on this is that I'm doing it with all authortuber books. So like other people who make videos like me talking about their writing, they've actually published the books and we're guessing their books. Oh. Not just any books. Wait, do you know these people? Some of them. Oh, sweet. So I'm gonna insult somebody somehow. No, that's not what's happening. That's the goal. That's not it. Would you consider yourself a reader, Robert? Are you talking to me now, or are you saying, like, eighth grade me? You can specify however you want. Okay, I don't read more. <laughs> I'm trying to read more. Yeah, It's a goal of mine. Hey! Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I'll no, I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. You read, you've been reading some business books. Yeah. Some non-fiction books. Yep. But are you trying to get more into fiction? Is that part of the goal? Or is it just... just oh, it was mainly it? just... Just read. To make money, eventually. Or learn. Reading? Learn how. No, no. <laughs> what we're gonna do first is I'm going to give him the title, he's going to guess then, and then I will show him the cover and he will try and like change his guess up a little bit to be more precise. Sounds good. Okay. Let's do it. We're doing six. Six for six. Let's go. Right here, right now. The first one is Alexa Dunn's book and it is called Brightly Burning. Brightly Burning? Brightly Burning. Well, first off, I love the alliteration. Um, brightly burning. Yeah, so here's what I want you to guess. Um, storyline would be good, genre first, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, that's gonna be a romance novel. Okay. Uh, and who's feeling romantic? Right? Um, <laughs> the character is named Bright. Oh. No, it's not. Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you'd give me. <laughs> no you. hints. That's cool. No, I didn't need help. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that. It is a romance novel, and okay. it's gonna be about a, a boy and a girl. Sure. Uh huh. But there's gonna be a love triangle somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because there always has to be one, right? Sure. Um, kind of a will they, won't they type mm. scenario. Mm. Um, okay. In the summer. In the summer, because it's hot. It's, it's burning. Yeah, it's bright and burning. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna show him the cover now and see if he won't change his Watch guess. It's gonna be like a murder novel. Ready? Oh, that's totally a romance. <laughs> It's totally romance. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm taking it on. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to describe what All you're right. seeing? Or All right. So they're definitely what are you somewhere in, in the cosmos. Mmm. So and not. This is okay. the nucleus. This oh. middle part right here. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. I'm guessing they're both embryos. <laughs> well, maybe shouldn't. No, they're two separate embryos. <laughs> In the galaxy. You're not twin cess. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. It's probably some, uh, you know, it's a love, romance. romance in space. Oh, changing it. Is it still in summer? <laughs> Do you think there's still a love triangle? Well, now it just looks like a love... A love story. Line. Oh, okay. I'm going to do the Goodreads summary. Okay. okay, ready? 17 year old Stella Ainsley wants just one thing to go somewhere, anywhere else. Her home is a floundering spaceship that offers few prospects, having been orbiting an ice encased Earth for 200 years. When a private ship hires her as a governess, Stella jumps at the chance. The captain of the Rochester, 19 year old Hugo Fairfax, is notorious throughout the fleet for being a moody recluse and a drunk. But with Stella, he's kind. But the Rochester harbors secrets. Stella is certain someone is trying to kill Hugo, and the more she discovers, the more questions she has about his role in a conspiracy threatening the fleet. Wow. There's a lot more to that. I uh -huh. there'd be. <laughs> yeah. So the key here is that this is actually Jane Eyre in space. So it's a retelling and she took the story. Wait, what? It's Jan Jane Jane Eyre. Who's that? The <laughs> it's a book. Oh. Jane Eyre and she's re she's retelling these things in space. So her next book is also another classic retelling of a book in space. So let me get this. <laughs> okay, she I'll stole just... someone's book and then threw it in space. That's no. All right. All right. That was brightly burning by Alexa. Dunn. I think I nailed it. I, Almost. Mm, right? I mean, I got the in space part once I saw the cover. <laughs> I knew it was romance. Uh, yeah. How are we scoring this? 
Oh, good question. You How know? would you like to be scored? Do you want like All an A to right. F or like a out of oh, 10? No, 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 no. I mean like what are the criteria? Uh, you need to get the genre right. Ding, right? Yeah. Well, it's kind romance. of like a mystery, but also a romance. So romance is one of them, romance, right? I would, yeah. Or it's how like do you a YA that book? romance. I have to guess why But too? also like a sci-fi. Okay. This is why. Well, what's I'll give main... you a point for it. They're kissing on the cover, so I'll I think it's mainly romance. I'll give you a point for it. I need, okay, I'll give you bonus points if you guess right off of just the title alone. That'll give All you right. five bonus points. We're gonna go out of ten. Why? Because I think that's really hard, so if you get it, you get five bonus points out of, out of ten. And then I'll give you two points for getting the gist of it right with the title. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then if you can guess accurately a storyline. Right. So did I'm you gonna, get progressively harder, or did you just put it in it? I put six at order. random. Oh. So you no picked order. the ones you like the most at the first ones, right? Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you a solid a three points for that. That just feels like a three. Okay. Oh. He kind of saw I totally did. Okay. <laughs> well, I, it just looked red, so... The next one is called the Scarlet Reaper. Oh, well, see, now it didn't even help me, because Scarlet is... But I'm going to give you an extra hint, and that it's the first book in the Architects of the Gifted series by Cam C. Wolf. The Architects of the Gifted. That's what the series is called, the Architects of the Gifted. And okay. this book is called right. the Scarlet Reaper. Okay. All right. So it's like an X-Men type thing, right? Okay. Architects of the Gifted. Mm, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. They're not, they, it's not gifted and talented. They're not just like <laughs> moderately smarter than most people. They're gifted. They're gifted like mutants, you okay. know? Okay, okay. All right, so what was the Scarlet Reaper? The Scarlet Reaper. All right, this dude's got like eight arms and they're all red. <laughs> Scarlet, I would say, Scarlet. actually. <laughs> but he's a bad mutant. Right? Oh. And so the architects have to, you know, fight this dude. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm. And they're like, oh, no, that's the Scarlet Reaper. Which <laughs> sounds like a Scooby-Doo villain, by the way. Well, so okay. <laughs> fix, fix, your, fix your villain. All right. <laughs> I need that on the shirt. Fix your villain. Fix your villain. <laughs> what genre would you say But then is? he turns good at the end. That's what oh, I okay. Guess. You know, Ooh. just add a little flavor. Wow, we had a whole lot of story in this sprinkle one. Sprinkle in the... Sprinkle in some character development. The... Classic superhero movie stuff. Mm, okay, so. so you're calling it a superhero genre. Is that a genre? Well, it's not a comic book. It's like right. a book book. It's a book book. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go YA. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna go uh, action. Is that a you know? Just book this genre? is where it gets hard because there's like adventure as a genre. Like the pirate story I'm writing could be okay. like either YA fantasy or like YA adventure. Okay, let's just go with both of those. Okay, fantasy adventure. Because it's definitely fantasy. Now I'm going to show you. All right, so she's being grabbed. Mmm. That is a soul. Is that one of the arms of the Scarlet Reaper? <laughs> one of the many. Um, one of the eight. Yes. Why is this sword blue? And what is? Okay. Does it help you? Do you still think you're right, or would you like to amend anything? You know, okay, there's swords up here in the symbol thing. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, here's the thing. Okay, what's the thing? The Scarlet Reaper is way smaller of the words than I thought it'd be. Well, there's swords everywhere, so at Lots least... Lots of swords. There's the action-adventure seems, or fantasy seems okay. a little on the money okay. so far. Yeah. I mean, the Scarlet Reaper has to be the bad guy, right? Or is it this girl? Named, her name's Scarlet. <laughs> And she's getting and she's raped. reaping. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna say her name's Scarlet. Now. Okay. And she doesn't have eight arms. And she's not reaping someone. Someone's reaping her. <laughs> okay. okay. Book one of four. This is a quote. What haunts me is not the things we have seen, but to know that they were there all along and we were too blind to notice. Carter Becker appears to most as an ordinary teenager trying to get the attention of Scarlet, the girl with the ruby eyes, the most beautiful girl in the world. But when a devastating catastrophe destroys his city, Carter realizes the world hides many dark secrets and he himself is one of them. A rogue soul reaper has come to a world that is not its own to carry out a sinister plan and the only thing it requires is Scarlet's life. Oh, yeah, the only thing. Carter joins forces with a team of fantastic and mysterious individuals to bring her home, but standing in his way are terrifying creatures beyond his imagination. Do they and, have eight arms? Well... Yo, if there's an octopus in there, I win. I get <laughs> 20 bonus points, game over. An ancient and powerful organization, and worst of all, his own fear. Saving Scarlet's life and stopping the Reaper's plan for total control will take more than luck. Carter will have to accept what he is and learn how to use it. Bob, Bob, Bob. You know what? He has to learn what he is and how to use it. I'm actually gonna give you. I feel like I a okay. solid seven First out off, of ten. Scarlet. What's Scarlet the name? Scarlet was the name. Second off, she what, did get raped. What demon? <laughs> yeah, what demon is she? That she has ruby eyes. And why wasn't that depicted in this 
cover. There was no eight arms or <laughs> ruby eyes. The sword was never mentioned, so I don't know what why it's blue. What? Kind of They're not going to tell you everything? Oh, that's why you have to read the book. So this next title is called Riser, and it is part of a series called The Riser Saga by Becca C. Smith. Uh, Guess what Riser is about? Well, since it's a series, I'm going to go again. Mm. YA. Okay. You think fantasy or adult books don't have series? No, but I wouldn't. I don't think they'd be called The Riser. Saga. Yeah. Well, just the ri Riser, Riser as a book title doesn't sound very adulty to me. You know. Interesting. Which okay. is a word. Adulty. adulty. Yeah. All right. This is just, just going to be another. Slow down subgenre. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an adventure. Adventure. Uh huh. Young adult. But, right. I'm I'm thinking it has something to do with religion. So it's gonna be like a fascinating. Okay. Jesus's distant cousin is rising up. Is rising up, <laughs> and he's like, okay. I will, you know. You think that's help like the people? Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. You ready for the cover? All right. Get in there. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give you an extra bonus hint. Please do. Kind of. I'm gonna show you the next one. The next cover. You show me that. Oh, in the series. In the series. Is, the next okay. one's Reaper, and that's what it looks like. What is up with these Reapers? Okay, are you ready They're for this? They're everywhere. I'm gonna give you the third one, which is called Ripper. Did that give you a little bit of help? Okay, so what I've seen is a black hole, um, an eye, uh -huh. and a heart. Okay. I don't know, I know it's wrong, but I'm just gonna stick with it. Okay, you ready to hear what Riser is about? I would love to. Chelsea DeRay can control the dead. She lives in a future where the world is overpopulated and a little pill makes you immortal. Where people are secretly being exterminated and serial killers are sanctioned by the government. When Chelsea's mother is killed by one of these exterminations... <laughs> Get your shit together! I'm I filming a video! The bill this month. <laughs> yeah. When Chelson's mother is killed by one of these exterminators, she vows to take down the man responsible. Okay. So... Interesting. So what's the genre? Is it just ad adventure? So it's Action it's like stuff? young adult fantasy sci-fi merging the two, kind of. Okay. So you can take like a fantasy idea, but since it's still kind of based in our world, just like a futuristic one, mm -hmm. that's what makes it like a sci-fi sci dystopian almost, okay. you could say. So you were wrong. I guess it's supposed to entice you to read the book, right? It's not supposed to give anything away. That is, yes, exactly. It's supposed to give you enough so that when you pick up the book, you know what it's about. It's kind of like the back cover of a book almost. Well, see, but now I just want to know what the book was about. Oh, well. Yeah, because it was by my friend, so... Excuse you! Oh. I'm gonna give you three points. Three out of ten. Woo. Okay, are you ready for this next one? I think you're gonna like it. Okay. So this Believe next me. book is called The Confident Corgi by Bethany Atase. Well, I'm gonna guess there's a dog. Okay. And it's a corgi. Okay. It's super confident. Oh, yes. And it has to have a C name. It's like an air, it's an air bud thing. I'm gonna guess it's like okay. an air bud thing. Well, yeah. what genre would you guess? Is that what you're- Adorable? The air bud genre. <laughs> adorable <laughs> This book has been rated adorable. adorable. <laughs> Are you ready for the cover? Well, I stick by everything I just said. Oh, Bethany Atazade. I know, I don't think I pronounced her name right. I'm Penny. so sorry, Bethany. The dog's name's Penny. Interesting. Do you see written and illustrated by? Wow. So do you I want to amend talent. your guess a little bit? Or you're sticking with- Oh. 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 I'm gonna- We're haunted. <laughs> a kid's Airbud. Oh, kid's Airbud. Yeah. <laughs> Airbud wasn't for kids originally. No, that was- <laughs> That one was written full yeah. hard R. <laughs> yeah, you don't remember the love scene between Airbud and his- and Lady Airbud? Oh, erotic. Erotic stuff. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Air, bud, if you ask me. <laughs> like any young pup, Penny is bold, confident, feisty, but what will happen when she meets a new friend? But it's not for friends. kids! <laughs> Fifty what Shades you? of Penny! <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna give you a solid... nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Arguably a ten. Okay. So. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. This next book is called Twisted Fate by Jesse Elliott. So, Twisted Fate. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. Twisted, twisted, fate. twisted Fate. This is also going to be a series, is a series, hmm. called the Twisted Series. You know, Twisted Fate, uh -huh. whenever I think of fate, I think of Hercules. And whenever they, you know, go into the underworld, mm -hmm. and he has to save her and all that stuff. Okay. I'm thinking there's something to do where they go into like some sort of hell or like underworld or something like that. Okay. 
and he's gonna have to. I'm, I'm just guessing the plot at this point. That's exactly it's, what I want. It's definitely gonna be a YA hardcore adventure. Okay. Edge of my seat. Twisted. S face. Sweating my balls off. Uh <laughs> Real page turner. And he broke his legs. They're twisted. Twisted legs. <laughs> he's got to crawl his way. Okay. Are you ready for the cover reveal? Yes. Okay. If he's in a wheelchair, I nailed it. Oh. Do you think you nailed it now? Oh, no. No, you oh, don't think you nailed it. Oh, it all changed. Is that New York in the background? And <laughs> New York. No, no, no. Um, yeah. No, that's a, that's a definite romance book now. <laughs> oh man. I should have known. That's a Hallmark <laughs> title if I've ever seen one. Twisted Fate. You kidding me? Jesse. Any guess at the like plot? It. She's a down on her luck something or another, and he's a way up high <laughs> executive. And the skyscrapers, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know, Twisted Fate. Uh, yeah, they probably hate each other, and then they always run into each other or something. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm guessing full Hallmark here. Although I would hope people probably don't write Hallmark books. Oh, I'm gonna write a Hallmark book. <laughs> Have fun. I will. Being kidnapped by the leader of the Fae really puts a dent in your senior year. Wow. <laughs> you were nice. wrong! Okay. Fricked that up. Yes, you did. Okay. Aurora Marshall is sharp, witty, and always has a plan. Ready to finish her business degree and graduate, her life is going smoothly until the night she meets Tristan Westbrook. Tristan, the overbearing, gorgeous Fae leader and an admired businessman in the human world, is all kinds of dangerous. While he, while he finds Aurora intriguing, her refusal to bend to his will keeps them locked in a constant power struggle. Entering into uh, a deal is the only way to escape Tristan's clutches, which only plunges Aurora deeper into the Fae world. With her future at stake, she is forced to handle his arrogance and extraordinary Fae abilities as she fights to stay grounded in her mundane life. Not to mention her struggle to ignore the growing attraction she knows she shouldn't feel for the man who kidnapped her. When people said college would be the most exciting time of her life, Aurora never thought this is what they meant. Pre-cover reveal. Mm -hmm. I would have given you a uh, zero. zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post cover well, reveal. Well, okay, I did get he business person. But I think that was after right? the cover reveal. No, was it? Yeah, because oh, otherwise you're like, he breaks yeah. his legs and is half oh, Hercules or yeah. something. No, no, no. <laughs> after the cover reveal, I'm going to give you a five. Because romance, yes. Okay. And, he, it, and businessman, and you got kind of, but like, and, you I, missed I, the I, entire I, Faye element. The last one. Are you ready? The final book is called Keeper by Kim Chance. All right. Keeper. Keeper. It's a lot of directions I'm thinking with Keeper here. Okay, throw them out. All right. It, it's either A, uh -huh. a romance book. Okay. In the, she's the keeper of his heart. Of his heart. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. What's or B? B, it's an, a thrill, like an action adventure okay. thing where she's the keeper of like a city or something. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Do we have a C? So you didn't have a lot of options. Yeah, it was only options. A and B, yeah. Okay, if you had to choose A or B. Since we just did a romance one, I'm going to go opposite, and I'm going to go All right. YA action, YA adventure, action thing. adventure thing. And I swear to God, if this cover is just like a blue sky or some BS like that, huh. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset. Okay, fine. Kim, don't let me down. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, wow. All right, so, all right. Wow, it was really green. Magic always leaves a mark. Action adventure, doth I call you? I don't know. There's some lightning. So she's a witch. DCH. Okay. Or whatever they call them in this book. I feel like witch could be like a mean term or something. Oh, <laughs> what a witch. Yeah. Well, like if, if it's called something else, you're like, <laughs> okay. oh, you're a witch. All right, I see a weird plantation home in the background. Yeah. I'm going to guess when she was young, like really young, really either young. she was captured and Ooh. taken away from her family. Okay. Or she ran away from home. Okay. <laughs> Somehow she has never been back to this house until she became a full on full witch bitch. <laughs> and she has made it back to this home okay. to... Someone took control of the house somehow that okay. isn't supposed to be there. Right. So it could either be an evil stepmom, uh -huh. who may also be a witch, okay, or an evil stepfather, also who may be a warlock, also a witch, witch bitch. Oh, is, is it warlock or is it wizard? You know, I think it it's. Both? I think if it's like if you're gonna go witch, it's usually warlock. Warlock. Sometimes it's almost. 
<laughs> it's like a lizard. lizard. <laughs> there is a lizard man. Is this a series too? You know what? I think it's gonna be. Okay. When a 200 year old witch attacks her 16 year old bookworm, Lainey Styles is determined to find a logical explanation. Even with the impossible staring her in the face, Lainey refuses to believe it until she finds a photograph linking the witch to her dead mother. After consulting a psychic, Lainey discovers that she, like her mother, is a keeper, a witch with the exclusive ability to unlock and wield the grimoire, a dangerous but powerful spellbook. But uh, there's a problem. Grimoire? grimoire? Sounds like... That's like a common... What, what was the word I said earlier? Witch bitch? Like witch no. <laughs> the grimoire has been stolen by a malevolent warlock who is desperate for a spell locked inside it. A spell that would allow him to siphon away the world's magic. With the help of her comic book loving best friend and an enigmatic but admittedly handsome street fighter, Lainey must leave her life of college prep and setting behind to prepare for the biggest test of all, stealing back the book. The okay. only way I could have been more right is if I guessed that whole comic book loving best friend. Okay, I, you know so what I though? So I think I get a 9.5 out of 10. Here's the thing, off of the title alone, I, I not still a great the score. genre right. For that initial, once you saw the picture, I will give you a 9. Wow. Well, I'm really glad we did this. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to have so much fun editing this one. <laughs> Can I shoot this at the end of the video? Stop. So that one was... So yes. I got a boy. Okay, sorry. Eight hours of editing later. I know. Oh my gosh. That's okay. Yeah, you know what? Because of how much editing she's going to have to do, uh, bunch of likes. <laughs> Thank you. Earned you. you earned Thank them. you. Yes. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Unprofessional. I can't believe you. I have one final question for Just you. Just like it. Okay. I will. Wow. Things have really changed. Just kidding. I'm taking a turn. You'll like it, the one yeah. video. Yeah. You'll like, like one video. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to my brother. Now you can go. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to my brother for participating in this with me. I had a lot of fun. Please comment down below and let me know if you've read any of these books and also let me know what you think people would guess your story is based off of its title. Because <laughs> I, that was just, it's so unexpected. There are so many ways you can do it until you get that cover design, which really clues people in. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all very soon at the new video. Bye. First plan for total. Mm. <laughs> Let me reread. <laughs> I'll just stay down there. Just hold on, I gotta uh, yeah, do this a couple more times. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bitch. Break no, it's fine. Uh, call me witch, bitch. Okay? <laughs> and, and I hate this word. What? And an enigmatic. Oh, I got it.